everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. Let's just go ahead and continue. I think we're going into Yunohana. I forgot what I forgot what the Yunohana. Okay, I was correct. I was like, I forgot how the letters were scrambled up. But yeah, we are going the right place. Oh, and I have to switch jobs. I think I gotta change Tiz from a bishop to a white mage. Forgot. So these are the hot springs of Yunohana. All of us were quaint buildings. But what are these springs, and why are they hot? Here in Yunohana, naturally heated water comes bubbling up to the surface from beneath the ground. The water's chock full of minerals said to have all sorts of healing properties. People come from all over for a chance to soak in the springs and wash away their worries. Oh, I see. Yeah, and also the sweet buns. People come to wash away worries and sweet buns? Who would ever... And don't forget the eggs. And eggs, too? This doesn't sound very relaxing. No, no, they're just popular hot spring snacks. People don't wash them, they... Right, they get wrapped up and sold in gift shops. A minute, let me get this straight. After you soak sweet buns and eggs, you're wrapped up and sold off? Enough chit-chat, everyone. We need to get Yoko to the baths. The bathhouse lies yonder. Let us make haste. Indeed. Wait! I'm not letting anyone wrap me in a sweet bun. Alright, let's move. There's probably some good shops around here, actually, so... Oh, did you say anything to me? Welcome. Okay, cool. Let's do a quick party chat. Oop, uh, quick party chat here. Let's get this over with. The Land of Wa. Wow, it's Wafu, huh? Wafu, what does that mean? I don't know exactly. Then why'd you say it? Well, this place reminds me of Master's Fencing School. It does. Wow, your must your school must have been really exotic. I guess it was, though it wasn't quite as lively as here. It was right out of the past, like the legendary Land of Wa, the island nation that they say disappeared. Sounds like Japan to me. The old stone tiles on the roof, the banners under the eaves, the paper lanterns. All of it was that old style that people came to call Wafu. I learned that katanas also or originally hailed from the land of Wa. For that too, and the same goes for all kinds of food like sweet buns, chestnut jellies, and even ramen. Right, hey look, a dumpling shop. I wonder if they have red bean jam. I really wish I could bring Master here, he'd love it. I really wish I could bring Anya's here too, I bet she'd love it too. Yeah, so I, I think just in you when, uh, what's, I don't know words, English. They're, this is supposed to be Japan. It, it looks like Japan, so I'm just gonna take a bright guess and say it is. They even have these little stalls. Like, Anyway, let's go see what they have. Can I, can I buy anything that's any good? So right now I have two people with katanas, so... Ooh, this would work. Oh, and I could probably buy it. Let's go ahead and buy four of those. Um, ooh, a gun. Oof. Hmm. I don't, I don't think I'm getting a ranger, but I kind of want to try it. But I don't think I will. Let's see, is that, are any of these better? Um, okay, let's, I think we should buy four of these, actually. Let's buy four of those. Ooh, this is good. For everyone. Buy four of those. Shepherd's garb. Ooh, we could probably put that on Tiz. Okay, well, now here's the problem. I didn't save any of my money for magic here. Ooh, I'm gonna need a couple of these. Okay, well, let me go ahead and equip everything, and we'll do a bunch of selling, but let's come here, put that on, put that on. Oh, no, oh, oh, lol, I forgot she can have a third thing. Let's put the, let's put the cap on, that on. She can also have a third thing on her, because they both have that one ability to have three weapons. Let's put that on, let's put that on. Um, let's see, smiley badge. W are any of these better? Okay, well, let's just quickly see how much more money I'll need. I want that. I want these two. Now let's, okay. And I guess I won't, I won't need any of these. So I need 12 more hundred. Let's just, let's just sell 12 more hundred worth of things here. And then I'm not gonna even bother buying the bishop things, because, like I said, I think I'm just gonna take... Tis off of Bishop. 
And I'm going to go ahead and put them on ooh, Hawkeye. I haven't even looked at this. What does this do? Increases accuracy by 100%. I kind of want to. I kind of want to play the Hawkeye, but like I said, for now, I'm gonna go ahead and make him a white mage here. Um, I guess that all that stuff can stay, and maybe I'm gonna go ahead and put the Holy Magic so we can have at least both of them. I just, I guess, I, I don't see why we would need these. Okay, well, anyway, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is for now. I'll, I'll have to make modifications later. Um, but let's go to the inn super quickly. Yeah, I'm not super happy with... I, I just feel like my classes are boring. You know, I've got like two sword masters, just cool, but you know, I wish... And then I've got the red mage, just cool, and then a white mage. I don't know, I feel like I could do something cooler, but I don't know what. Because I don't have the classes that I want yet, so I guess we'll just leave them the way they are just for now. And we'll figure out something cooler in a little bit. But let's continue on with the story here. Greetings, travelers. Welcome to the bathhouse of Yunohana. I am Sakura, your humble attendant. Pray make yourself comfortable and let our warm, gentle waters ease your mind and body. All right, this is where we split up. Magnolia and I will look after Yoko. Thank you. I am in your debt. And remember you, no peeking. Well, who said anything about peeking? If you so much as think about it, you're in for a knuckle sandwich. Uh, who said I was thinking about it? Sheesh, what kind of person do you take me for? We know better than that, right sir? I'll say, I'd never dream of doing such a thing. Only ring about oh, what? Oh, you guys are no fun. But you just said... Woman's at best a contradiction still. I guess I still have a lot to learn. Oh, come now. We're just joking with you. But we should get Yoko to the baths. Adieu. And just so you know, I wasn't joking about that knuckle sandwich. Well, since we're here, what say we enjoy a bath as well? Great idea, sir. I've never soaked in a hot spring before. I shall join you. My road has been a long one. This guy looks sick. I want whatever job he has. Time for a bath, okay? Um, let's figure mail. Change your lead character, just, okay. Okay, well, luckily my guy is a male lead character, so. <sighs> There's nothing like a nice hot bath. You can say that again, sir. Indeed. All the aches and pains of my road-weary body just seem to melt away. But look at those packs! It's like you're chiseled from solid stone! No wonder you're such an incredible swordsman. I guess I need to bulk up if I'm ever gonna be as strong as you. I would not say that, Master Yu. For a swordsman, it's not about the quantity of muscle, but the quality. You both have a lightness, which should serve you well with a blade. Do you really think so? Still, I've always wanted to be big and manly like you and Tiz here. A hundred push-ups a day from now on, I'm gonna get ripped! I don't believe it when I see it. <laughs> uh, what are you three doing here? We could not help but overhear your conversation. There's the, they're the one All peeking. this talk of muscles and the like piqued our interest. Did you hear that, sir? Danzabro? They want to see some muscles. I say we show them some. I don't know about that. I too find the idea a bit embarrassing. Well, you heard them. No show for you today. Murgurgur. Who even said we wanted one? We just came to tell you that Yoko's feeling better, but I guess you don't care about that. Huh? But that's not what you... Oh, our 
minister is so cruel. Whatever is a princess to do? Now look what you did. We're going back, and remember, no peeking, or else... Knuckle sandwich! Well, uh, huh. They can look, but not us? It's not fair, I say! That's what they mean by a contradiction still. Well, I won't be the one to disappoint our audience. Sir, if I may be so bold, I say this calls for action. You? Uh, you can't mean... All that talk about Knuckles sandwiches, it's just reverse psychology. They want us to peek. This calls for a coup de gravy if there ever was one. You've sure grown up awfully quick. <clears throat> you forget, Master Yu, that the group of ladies of whom you speak includes my dear sister. If you insist on peeking, you will face my blade. On second thought, maybe you should reconsider? Ah, uh, yes. Expert advice, sir. Fair enough. Ah, <sighs> now that was refreshing. I'll say, but I think I stayed in a bit too long. I'm gonna go outside and cool off a bit. Don't wait up for me. Sure thing. We'll see you back in the room. Ah, <sighs> the breeze sure feels good. Fancy meeting you here, Minister. Yoko, is your wound all healed? Yes, and it is all because of you. You and your friends have our deepest gratitude. Ah, don't mention it. We're in your debt, too. If it weren't for you and Don Zabado, we'd still be stuck in Eisenberg. Thanks to you, we can finally get after the Skyhold. We are pleased. <sighs> Speaking of which, we would seek your counsel on a certain matter. You are the heir to a prominent House of Knights, are you not? I am. Why do you ask? Have you heard of a legendary blade known as the Sword of the Brave? The Sword of the Brave? You know of it, then? Uh, no, no. Um, I mean, what about it? We seek this Sword of the Brave. We would gift it to our Onisama. As Crown Prince, Onisama should one day rule this land. Or he would, were it not for our father's challenge. If you would succeed me, bring me the sword of the brave. These were father's words. But why? Onisama is brave, wise, and a peerless warrior. We can think of none more worthy of leading a nation. And yet, in truth, he does not share our father's blood. That is the reason for which father would issue this impossible challenge. Anisama gave up any claim to succession and left to wander the realm. But we shall not give up. We shall find this blade that Anisama might take his rightful place as Lord of Yunohana. No! Trust me, Yoko. Forget about the Sword of the Brave. Why would you say that? The blade is cursed. It will bring you and your brother nothing but suffering. So, you know more about the sword than you let on, Minister Yu? Uh, I, uh, yes. I, um, read about it in history class. And perhaps you also know where it might be found? Uh, sorry. I don't recall more than that. Is that so? Well then, we will just have to find it ourselves. Bruh. Yes, where might it be? Sealed away in Starkfort, mayhap? Or sleeping beneath Mount Karka in Geyser Grotto? Mm? <laughs> Aha! Our minister's reaction tells us we guessed true. Well, no! I, I really, truly don't know. I'm sorry, Yoko. 
We understand. Pray forgive your princess. We did not mean to upset you. Good night, Minister Yu. <laughs> it's getting chilly. I should turn in before I catch cold. Indeed. I wonder if she's gonna run away again. We're gonna have to save her for like the seventh time. Morning, everyone. Morning. Did everyone sleep well? I would have, if not for Idia talking in her sleep all night. What are you talking about? I never talk in my sleep. Is that so? Then why did I hear all about the ice cream parlor with all-you-can-eat parfaits? I talk about that when I'm awake. And the bakery where you made the owner build you a house out of brownies? Uh, um... <laughs> All before swimming laps in your malted milkshake pool and then calling it a night on a bed of cinnamon mascarpone pancakes? <laughs> oh, you got me. Good morning, Don Zabaro. Master Yu, have you seen my sister? Yoko? She isn't with you? When I awoke, she was nowhere to be found. Wherever could she have gone? Not Geyser Grotto. Oh, she couldn't have. Huh? But what would ever lead her there? We were talking last night, and, well, it just kind of came up. My sister? Alone in that treacherous place? Forgive me, friends. I must follow her at once. I have a bad feeling about this. We should go, too. Do you know where it is? At the foot of Mount Karka. Let's hurry. Lead the way, you. All right. Well, while they do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put my microphone back up because it just fell. Okay. I think I think my microphone is fixed. I think y'all can hear me. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, continue with our journey here. So I bought. I th I, I think I got everything. I'm gonna need to get Tiz's white magic up, right? Because I'm not even able... I don't think I'll even be able to use this stuff yet. So I might need to go and grind at this place to get Tiz's level up first. But, we'll see. Let's just continue for now. Oh, wait, there's still a blue checkmark in here. Well, I need to know what that blue checkmark is. Oh, this guy right here. Sorry. Are you all right? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Excuse me. Tis but a scratch. Uh, don't worry about... No! Oh, no, please. Here, come and sit down. Hmm. It doesn't look like anything's broken, but I suggest you take it easy for a while. Well, that won't do. I just got in a rush order, too. A rush order? Yes, from an expedition that set out for Grab Keep a few days ago. They say they need additional foodstuffs delivered at once. Food, huh? Okay, we're on it. We can deliver it for you. You said it was a group headed for Grab Keep, right? Is there an addressee? It was, uh, ah, yes. They called themselves the Ominous Party. Okay, I'm an. Oh, what? Did you say ominous? That's right. They should be easy to recognize, what with that pet Dagon they had with them. Not to mention the bodyguard they hired. An odd-looking one, but quite the archer. I believe her name was Artemia. Right. Artemia too. Idia, I understand why you might be uncomfortable, but we did offer. Let's just go and get it over with. Right. Okay. So we just need to take the food you've got there? Yes, that you do for now. The party said they'd be ordering more, so I'd appreciate it if you could ask what else they need. Sure, will do. Thanks a lot. You're doing me a true favor. Okay, fair enough. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's continue with the blue. We can do the orange later. I always want to do the blues first. Let's go up in here. 
And also, um, after I finish this episode, 26 to 30, and I think we're exactly 30. So we're very good for this. After I finish this episode, then counter to zero. I'm gonna sit somewhere and grind because I need to get that white mat white mage level up a little higher right now. We're running a little bit too low. I don't think I'll even be able to use like any of the magic and stuff, so. I definitely want to get that up a little bit. Okay. I don't know what auto I have on, but I think this auto would probably be good for everyone. These guys are poison. I don't like poison. Okay, no. Okay. So yeah, what I think we'll be fine. See, but we're gonna have to use his white mat his bishop magic to get rid of that poison there. Let's open this up. Ooh, and that opens that up. Okay. That makes sense. I think I remember this dungeon a little bit from the my first playthrough like a bunch of years ago. Ouch. Okay. He's paralyzed. Sucks just a tiny bit. Looks, looks like there's only one left though, so it shouldn't be that big of a problem. Ooh, I no longer have that ability. What do you mean I no longer... Oh, is it... Oh, it must be because of the... It must be some black magic abilities that I no longer have. Well, then we'll have to redo that. For now, let's just continue on our little journey here. Let's turn off the auto here, mage. This side quest, so I'm probably going to replace the red mage with a black mage. That's at least my ideas. Because I kind of, the only reason we need the red mage is basically for the revenge ability. Okay, so we got the save here. I don't know why it's so early, but it is. So fire is these guys' weak point. Okay, well that's good to know. Undead are apparently weak to fire. Got an antidote too. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's, real quick, let's just go ahead and uh, use a cottage while we're here. So we're literally right here. And then we're going to go explore the rest of the um, dark parts. Because I want to explore the entire dungeon, obviously. We're going to go ahead and give it a quick save, too, here. Okay. Bam. So that's where we came from. So we should check out this end. Same thing. Let's keep repeating these moves. I'm not going to be doing that stuff right there. Let's see, how much magic can Tiz do now? Okay, he's only a level 2 white mage, so he's still pretty low. Let's go down here and see what is hiding. Okay. Of course, they get the hit before I can hit. Okay, that works. I'm kind of glad we're at a good level here. Okay, we can open this. Okay. Wonder where that will take us. See, it's just... Okay, this takes us here. Which opens that. Okay, okay, so now we can get to that chest. I'm trying to think, is that it? Yeah, I think that's about it there. Okay, let's get this other fight done. Let's see some fears going. I wonder why that one took so long to hit. Oh, I got some poison. Okay, um, let's use the. Antidote there. Let's also use some heals. Okay. Where? How do I get to that chest? Though? That's my question. So if... Oh, I, I have to go down that one. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So if I come here... I'm gonna take this. That'll give me remedy. And now I can go down here to this other chest. Bang. Okay, I'll have to fight one more here. Yeah, I want to make sure to get Tiz on a good level here because 
I'm gonna need his white mage powers. Ooh, power bracers. That'll be good on either Magnolia, right? Power bracers. Whoopsies. I okay, I don't know what I just put on. Yes. Now that those are some good bracers there. Magnolia will definitely be able to use those real nicely. Okay, let's go to the save point, and I'll probably end this episode off here. We'll continue next time. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, I'll hold that outro. We got one more little fight to go here. Okay, now I, I don't even remember where I was in the outro, but whatever. It works. Let's just kill this guy. Okay, got a few. Ooh, level mage white three. Okay, you love to see it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, please like and comment on the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and...